Hey everybody, welcome back to A Dazzled or Disappointed. Today I have A Dazzled or Disappointed on something that I am super excited about, and it is the Natasha Denona Bloom Palette. This just released a couple of days ago, or a few days ago I should say, more than a couple. And it's crazy because I, like, I saw a ton of people start posting left and right their, I guess, first impressions and reviews on this product, and I'm like, okay, I need to not watch any of that because I don't want to be influenced by what people think or what people say because as you know makeup works differently for each and every one of us so I've had time to play with this use it in different ways and just come to you with my thoughts swatches um, show you how I applied it to my cheeks we'll do that together and so hopefully you find this beneficial if you are looking to purchase this you may be just a not Natasha Denona fan maybe a fan of the diamond and blush palette um, and so maybe kind of curious as to this, maybe you've already picked it up and maybe you're kind of on a low buy budget for this year and you're wondering, okay, $55 is a pretty decent price point for luxury brand. Is it worth it and should I pick it up? So we're going to go through all of that here and now. So let's go ahead and get started so that you can get all those questions answered. All right, my friends, you know the drill. We're gonna go ahead and start with the outer packaging. It looks like this. Typical Denona, not Denona fashion, Natasha Denona fashion. <laughs> We're on last name, you know, basis now. <laughs> and it looks very similar to her typical packaging, but there's like an extra. The bloom is holographic. It's very pretty. It's a little bit different than what she's used to coming out with because those of you who are familiar with her products know her boxes are usually pretty simple. The back does come with the little diagram of the palette, has its ingredients, all that. It's paraben free, it's not tested on animals, and it is made in Italy. So that's that, let's get rid of that box. Let me then take you into the Sephora um, website so that I can give you the description and give you price point and all that good stuff. So it is $55, you may already know that. It's an ultimate glow palette inspired by Natasha Denona's best-selling diamond and blush palette, featuring some of her best-selling shades and formulas. Uh, it, it contains a range of exquisite formulas. The hydrating velvety cream blush is designed to give your skin a healthy flush of color. The glow cream base is a hydrating luminous cream highlight with real crushed mineral pearls to give your skin the ultimate glow. Duo Glow is a multi-purpose duochrome highlighting powder with a real with real crushed mineral duochrome pearls to give your skin a supernatural shade shifting glow. <laughs> And the Extreme Glow is a multi-dimensional sparkling creamy powder highlight with a soft focus, HD finish, and a velvety smooth texture. So basically what we've learned from that description is that this palette is for the person who wants to glow. <laughs> All right, so that being said, I already mentioned it is $55. You do get 0.48 ounces or 13.7 grams of product. And I'm actually going to kind of compare that for you here um, with the Diamond and Glow. So here is the Bloom palette. It's kind of the size I anticipated it to be. I've heard people saying that it's smaller than what they thought, but I mean, it is significantly less than the Diamond and Glow or the Diamond, Diamond and Blush. So I anticipated it to be smaller and I think this is really what I thought it would be pretty realistically. Um, okay, you do get 13.7 grams or point four eight three ounces there are four pans of product for reference in the diamond and blush you get six pans of product at seven grams or 0.25 ounces so obviously a lot bigger in here and i'll show you that here in just a second i love the packaging to this the bloom matches the box it's holographic i just think this looks so they didn't go cheap. It's very, I think, luxurious. It's very pretty to look at. You've got the ND in big letters. On the back, it just says Natasha Denona Bloom, and then it's got all the details, like how much product is in here, where it's made, and all of that. So then you open it up, and this is what it looks like. So your pans of product are, and this is going to be very reflective. I'm already very sorry. Let's do it like this. <laughs> So this is what it looks like, and then just as the Diamond and Glow, you've got this little plastic flap right here that opens up. That is for the cream products, because this way you don't get all of the powder, like if there's any excess, it's not coming into your cream products and messing with your cream products. So that's kind of nice, like a little door. So you've got the blush and you've got the base highlight as cream products, and then you've got your Glow Extreme and your Duo Glow as your powder products. Your Duo Glow can be used as 
like a topper for your blush or it can be used, I have found, as a standalone blush. Very, very pretty, adds a beautiful, healthy sheen to your cheeks. So that's what we've got there. Just for comparison, I'm gonna show you the pans of product in the Diamond and Blush palette and then I'm gonna show you the pans of product in the Bloom palette. Obviously, significantly smaller. But, and I've heard people say, you know, they didn't, again, they didn't think it would be this small. However, this one's $89, this one's $55. Truly, are you ever going to go through this much product? I've told y'all, I would rather pay less and have less because I will never go through it all. This is perfect for me as far as price point and size for a luxury brand item. This one I have had since pretty soon after it released. Um, what, a year ago, I think, maybe a little over a year, and look, I've still got almost a full um, palette of product here. So that being said, this, I think, really is the way to go, and seems like Natasha Denona has really been doing a great job of uh, sending out or putting out the makeup products that can reach a little bit more people as far as price point. The mini nude palette, stunning, and it was it's a mini palette, but it's $25. It will be forever before I go through that thing. I mean, just the little mini um, diamond and blush. I think that one was like $18, and it was just a mini version of this with two pans of product. Pretty much my favorite pans of product that are in this large thing. So anyways, I love that. It makes it more attainable, more achievable for someone who's wanting to try and use luxury brand products, but doesn't want to fork out the money or doesn't have the money. So $55, great price point, I think. Let me put this down before I forget. Okay, we're going to go through together and um, apply these products onto my cheek. Before we do, I want to give you just swatches of these so that you can see up close and personal what they look like. So let me grab those and I'll be right back. So the four are the Glow Cream Base this is the cream blush very very intense and this was with quite the light hand glow extreme and duo glow and let's put these on the hand so that you can see and there is what they look like very intense very glowy very healthy looking and that's the first word that came to my mind it's just super healthy Okay, so now that we've gone through swatches, it's time for the real deal. Let's put this on my cheek, cheek, because I had already put it on one cheek. Let's go ahead and put it on my cheek together, on my face together, and that way you can see it in action and see how it applies. Let's go. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and put this on together on this cheek. <laughs> this one already has the palette pretty much every single pan of product is on this cheek already. And so I didn't wanna, I know typically my fashion is to come on here and kinda just tell you what I did and how I applied the product, but since I have two cheeks, I thought why don't I go ahead and apply one and then we can apply one together and that way you can see exactly how it performs. For reference, before we jump into this, I am a light medium skin tone, light medium neutral to be exact. And so just know that going into this, I'm gonna kind of give you some feedback, let you know some stuff as we go, but just for reference. So we've got the palette right here, we've got the two creams, and we've got the two powders. Like I said, I used every single product and I have been using this the exact way, pretty much the exact way, if I remember it right, that Natasha Denona had posted about on her or on YouTube, you know how usually when Natasha Denona is going to release something, she'll release like a, I don't know if it's a promo video, but it's more like a how-to. And so if you ever have doubts on how to apply her products, I highly suggest looking up her videos and checking them out. I find them to be so beneficial. And I know sometimes we can get frustrated as far as I shouldn't have to do all this work to make the product work and you know we kind of complain here and there and I get that but when you know how to use something as it's intended because a lot of these makeup artists are just that they're makeup artists they create makeup for an intended purpose and so sometimes there is this way to do it in order to achieve the desired results so let's go ahead and play with this palette now first off I am going to tell you that this blush is incredibly pigmented and you need to go in with a very light hand if you are a skin tone like mine or 
fairer or lighter, you need to go in with even more so of a careful hand. So using just kind of like a, I don't even know that this is a brush br blush brush. It's actually a large angled contour. It's the F40 by Sigma. I use it as a blush brush. I like how it packs on the color. So let's just go ahead and grab some. Now when I say go light, I mean like very light and it has a little bit. I'll probably go in with a little bit more. It's a cream and typically your creams you kind of have to dig into. Not this cream. This cream is very, very pigmented. So I'm going in with a light hand because this one I, I went in with a semi-light hand and it is very, very pigmented. So let's go in and let me grab a little bit more because that was a little too little <laughs> but you can already see the color is um, on my cheek. So see, now I probably went in with a little too much for not paying attention. Um, but do you see how much pigment that is? It is like a cherry red. I have heard some people say it ends up looking kind of pinky on them and I have not encountered that. On me, it looks quite, um, quite red. In fact, let me zoom you in a little bit and that way you can see up close how it's really looking. So now that you're a little closer, let me show you. This is the cheek that's already done. The Natasha Denona video, what she said that the desired result or the result after using these products is that your skin looks like glass. And uh, obviously there's, there's truth to that. So look at this pigment and I went in with a very light hand. So that tells me my deeper skin tone ladies, this is going to be great for you. You can even go with a little bit of a heavier hand and it would still look beautiful. Um, but that's what we've got. I'm going to go for sake of the video. I'm just going to go with tiny, tiny bit more just because I'm layering all of these products and I don't want it to get lost in translation there. So that's what you've got there. We'll go in with even a little bit more. I, like I said, highly suggest slowly building up. Look, I went in with a little bit and added quite a bit because it's always easier to build up than take away. Now you can kind of take away if you go back in with your foundation brush, your beauty blender, but still it's just easier to build it up. So we are good there on blush, obviously. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with just a regular little puffy brush. This is a BH Cosmetics. I don't know. It just has a two on it. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm going to go in with the Duo Glow because what I do with this is I layer it on top of that right there. This Duo Glow is very peachy orangey, I guess like you, I could say, like maybe a orange sherbet type of shade, but basically I'm not placing that. It's a duo glow, but I don't place it as my highlight there because it's too deep for me, for my skin tone. Now my deeper skin tone ladies, I think it would look beautiful on you as a highlight alone. Uh, but for me, I use it as like a topper for the blush because it has a very strong sheen, if you can tell, and it makes it just, it's going to make so that your highlight really pops. But it's kind of nice because then you almost have like two different blush options because you can go in straight up with this by itself or you can combine these two for a little bit of a shift in color, which is kind of nice. So that's how I do that. Next up, the cream highlight right here. As in with the Diamond and Glow, I don't find this to be really... I don't know, it's not my favorite in the palette. However, same as with the Diamond and Glow and what she, had, what Natasha Denona has stated is that this is for your uh, powder highlight to grab onto. And those of you who have been with my channel for a long time know I always use a cream highlight even though it's kind of subtle. It's not meant to just be worn alone. It's meant to place the powder on top so that you can really make that highlight pop. So we're gonna go in with that. I go in with cream products like this. I go in with my finger. So. Right there, I go in with a little bit and then I just kind of tap it at the high points of my cheeks. Again, this is not like a champagne uh, color highlight. This is has a uh, orangey type of, or I should say peachy type of um, shade to it. So keep that in mind because you may freak out and say, oh my gosh, this is too dark. But we're gonna put the highlight, the powder highlight on top of that. And so that's gonna kind of cover it up. Lastly, I will say we're gonna go in with the Glow Extreme, and this does have a few little particles of sparkle. I don't find it to be chunky glitter or anything, but it is like a, a fine sparkle, and her Diamond and Glow palette has that powder, the diamond powder, which this does not have. However, 
It's like they added a little bit of that ultra fine sparkle to give it like a oomph, you know? I find that that usually gives highlight a little bit of extra. So I'm going in with my Anastasia A23. I always forget and I want to blind you with that mirror apparently. So with highlight, you know, I'm not shy with highlight. I go in with as much as I want because I want to be seen three blocks down. And that's the intent of this palette is, you know, a glow. So let's go ahead and place this where we placed the cream product. Now, this is not, again, it's not like a super champagne style <laughs> shade. It's a little bit deeper than what I would typically buy for my skin tone. However, using it all together, it just works. I wouldn't buy this tone of a highlight on its own with all of these four combined with the way it's intended. On me, it works. I think if you have a lighter skin tone than I do, you probably need to go in with a little bit of a lighter hand. Maybe use some of these as more of like a blush, although the Glow Extreme would look interesting across the whole cheek as a blush because it is very, very glowy. I'll put a little bit extra on for sake of this video. And that's what we've got going on there with all four products. Again, you don't have to layer all four of them on. You could just strictly do this blush and then you could do the cream highlight and the powder highlight. The next go around, if your skin tone allows it, you could technically use this Duo Glow as a blush. Um, it has a very strong sheen, but it has that orangey or peachy tint to it. So it would give a very beautiful flush of color to the cheeks without it being super overboard. And I like it both ways because I do love these berry types of blushes, but I also love sometimes just a sheer wash of color with a strong sheen because that helps my cheek look extra highlight and glowy. And I do love using this one on its own, as its own blush. So there's different options. It's not like you're gonna use the same four every single time. This was for purposes of the video. Um, however, Natasha Denona really does recommend using the uh, cream highlight under the, uh, what's it called? Glow Extreme Powder. That's something I would always recommend, not only with this palette, but anytime you use highlight, it's always so much better. If you go in with the cream highlight first and then top it with your powder highlight, you will be so floored with how much it can take it to the next level. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of swatches, application, all that good stuff. Now it's time for the nitty gritty, <laughs> my thoughts. So this palette, like I said, I was not disappointed with the size. I kind of already had it in my mind that based on the price point, it was going to be smaller. So that was a, you know, that was no disappointment there. I love the packaging. This packaging is so pretty. I, I just, I don't know, every detail about it, I love. So let's just go ahead and move on to the, the products inside. This glow pretty much um, is my, I hate to say my least favorite of the four. Um, it's just, but based on the diamond and blush palette, that's not a surprise because it's not my favorite in that one either. It pretty much just does the job of adding a slight sheen, but a sticky base in order to really grab onto the uh, powder product. And that's, that's really what this one does. It's a little bit more peachy than I would like for my skin tone, but it's not like I'm so disappointed in it. I mean, I had already seen the stock photos and everything and it's kind of like I pretty much knew. Anyways, so that's my least favorite. This blush exceeded every one of my expectations because cream blushes for me can be a little bit tricky. They're not my favorite. I don't go out and buy cream blushes. 99.9% .9 of my blushes, the blushes in my collection are powder blushes. And so this one, it's kind of easy to think, one, it's intimidating because of the shade, and if you're a skin tone like mine or lighter, it can be very intimidating. And then you've got the cream um, factor going into there. I probably have found this to be the easiest cream blush product I have ever used. It is so easy to work with. If you go in with a light hand and slowly build it up, if you go in with too much, it will look like too much and then you really do have to blend out. Um, but I have found that in going in with a light hand and building up, it's so easy. It doesn't even act like a cream, which is kind of weird. It is definitely a cream, but it does not act like one. It blends easy. It doesn't make my makeup patchy. It doesn't remove my makeup. None of that. It looks so pretty, and the shade, when you blend it out, makes your skin look so healthy. I love this color. I am so happy with it. Let's come down to the Duo Glow. So the Duo Glow, I find, like I said, t there's two ways that I love using it. It's on top of this rosy, um, blush to kind of change up, one to change up the shade a little bit and also to add that really 
pretty sheen to it. Um, I cannot use this as a highlighter. It is too deep. But instead of using this rosy blush, if I use this Duo Glow as my blush, it looks so stunning because it looks very natural, but it's got that sheen which makes you look super healthy. I love the look of a sheen in a blush. To me, it's just one of the ways to make your skin look like it's glowing from within. That's just me though. So I love using that that way. For a, As a highlight, absolutely not. Um, and then the Glow Extreme. I love this thing. And I just, I loved the highlights also in the diamond and blush. And there's a tutorial or a get ready with me that I had done way back when I purchased that palette. And you could tell in my expression that I was so blown away with the intensity of that highlight. Y'all know highlights are pretty much my, that and eyeshadow, my favorite things of life <laughs> or in makeup anyways. This is so stunning. Now, it is slightly deeper than I would have liked, um, but that's not to say this palette is all about me. This palette is all about a lot of skin tones, if not most skin tones. So I have found that it looks slightly peachy on me um, and even more so with the glow as the base. Now, if I use like a champagne color base and put this over top, it helps balance it out and it's so stunning. It's so glowy. It's so pretty. And Natasha Denona's statement of this palette used as a whole to give you like, to give the skin a glass like effect. Absolutely. 100%. This is a dazzle for me, you guys at $55 to be able to get these four that I can use in multiple ways. Oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely. I don't need the huge pans of product. I don't want to pay an extra 30, 40, $50. So this is perfect. The packaging, the product inside and for spring, this is going to be so good. I am really excited to continue using it because I have really had so much fun using it so far and it's still very new. So definitely a dazzled. Don't be intimidated by the cream products. Don't be intimidated by that blush shade used lightly stunning and for my deeper skin tone ladies it makes me so excited because one I know this is gonna look absolutely just mind-blowingly stunning on you guys but also the fact that this is gonna suit a ton of skin tones it's so good it's so nice my fair skin tones I know this will be a little bit of a struggle but again used with a light hand used appropriately I think you can make it work and make it look beautiful on your skin tone as well I'm, I'm loving it I'm loving it, you guys. All right, guys, before I let you go, I need to give you the wor verse, the worst of the day, the verse of the day, Matthew 6, 14. Jesus said, if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. I just, guys, bitterness does you no good. It's easy to, it's easier to forgive and move on with your life than harbor bitterness and be super miserable about it. Miserable about it. <laughs> I know I've been there. So that's, you know, that's not me just saying that. I've, I've been there, done that. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please consider subscribing if you are new to my channel and you want to see more videos come your way. I would love, love, love to have you as part of this YouTube family. If you found this enjoyable, helpful, whatever, <laughs> I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. That would really help me quite a bit. And I will see y'all in the very next video. Bye, everybody.